Welcome to our Max QDA video tutorial about data coding. Coding means assigning segments of data, for instance a portion of text or one part of a picture, to a category, which is called a code in Max QDA. As you might have learned in the Getting Started video tutorial, you can create new codes in the code system. To code a specific data segment with such a code, drag and drop it onto the code. Afterwards, a coding stripe with the code name will appear next to the coded segment. If you're coding pictures, as I am right now, the coded segment is also highlighted in the picture. When coding audio or video data, like in this example, the coding stripe can be seen in the area below the timeline. To adjust a coded segment after you've coded it, you highlight the segment again, for instance to make it larger, and then either drag the highlighted segment onto the code again, or right-click on the coding stripe and choose Recode with highlighted segment from the context menu. The context menu also lets you assign weights to individual coded segments. You can use these weight scores afterwards as a filter during your analysis. Of course, it's also possible to delete a coding. As an alternative, you can undo the last 10 coding steps. Just click on the icon Undo Code in the Code toolbar and choose the coding you would like to undo. This basic procedure can be accelerated and modified with several functions, which I will show you next. If, for instance, you've just used a certain code and want to use it again for the next text segment, you can simply click on the code in the Code Toolbar's Quick List. If you're using a grounded theory approach and are creating a lot of new codes in your open coding phase, you might find the following shortcut helpful. Highlight the text segment, right-click on it, and then choose Code with a new code from the context menu. The window for creating a new code will automatically appear, and the code will be added to your code system. You can also choose to code in vivo with Max QDA. This means that you can use the text of the coded segment itself as the name of the code. To speed up the coding process even more, you can also use shortcuts to assign codes. To assign shortcuts to existing codes, switch to the Codes section of the menu and click on Keyboard Shortcuts for Codes. Now you can easily assign or change the codes for a specific key combination by dragging and dropping the new code to the respective shortcut in the list. A similar function is the so-called Code Favorites function which can be especially helpful if you're working with a highly complex code system. In this window, new codes can be added via drag and drop from the code system and arranged as you like. To code a segment with a code favorite, simply mark the segment in the document browser and click on the code name in the code favorite window. If you want to assign several codes to a particular text segment at once, you can do that too. First, you activate the codes in the code system then you mark the text segment, right-click on it, and choose Code with Activated Codes from the context menu. All activated codes will then immediately be assigned to the text segment. Which brings us to our next tip. If you have a lot of terms of the same kind and want to code them with the same code, you can use MaxQDA's AutoCode function. You first click on Analysis in the menu, and then Lexical Search. You create a new search string and have MaxQDA find all the occurrences of this string in all your documents. These results get listed in a separate window. You can then code these items with either a new or already existing code. For now, I'm going to do the latter. What's more, you can choose to code not only the search string itself, but also the whole sentence or even the whole paragraph in which the string occurs. I've decided to code the whole sentence for the time being. As usual, I can then activate this new code, as well as the document, to list all the results, all the sentences or paragraphs in which they occur, in the Retrieved Segments window. If you're interested in coding without words, you might find another function quite helpful, the Emoticode tool. To code a segment with one of these icons, just mark the segment in the document browser and click on the chosen icon in the Emoticode window. The coding stripe next to the text, as well as the code system, will now show the icon instead of the name of the code. 
This way, emoticodes allow you to express your data content non-verbally. Beyond that, you can use them just like any other code in MaxQDA. Especially at the beginning of a new research project, you might at first only want to mark important sections of the text with different colors without assigning actual codes to them, as you might use a highlighter. To do so, MaxQDA offers the highlight coding function. Once you've marked a segment of your data, you can choose among five different colors to code the segment with. In contrast to other coded segments, the highlighted segments are actually highlighted in the text too, just as they would be if you had marked the text with a highlighter. MaxQDA creates a new code with the name of the color in the code system, which you can thereafter use like any other code in MaxQDA. By right-clicking on this sidebar, you can choose which coded segments are actually displayed in the document browser. You can limit the display to coded segments of activated codes, coded segments by a specific user, or codes with certain colors. You can also choose to let normal codes highlight the text in the code color. If you're coding pictures, you might also find it very useful to display or hide the coded segments in images. Now you not only know the basic coding procedure in MaxQDA, but you also have the expertise to apply complex codings to your data.